welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green, the Psychic Medium, and I will be leading you through an hour's worth of questions, answers, connections to loved ones up above, and maybe even some channeling and so on and so forth. Um, so let's get started. First and foremost, please do not be scammed. I will never reach out to you and tell you you need something or ask for anything. The only way to get a session with me is to go to my website and um, take, take care of it on my website and then to call the number on my website. And then you get your session. I don't reach out and tell people that they need anything from from me or to get a session. I don't I don't do that. Um, the next thing I would like to say is, um, you know, normally I start with names and songs, but today I'm really and all day long. I have been being encouraged to start with channeling about. Um, um, I'm getting nervous because I know what this is. Okay. <sighs> to start with a channeling about, and I'm going to just start now, and it is imperative that you listen to the message and you understand it for what it is for each and every one of you. It is so imperative at this time that you understand who you are and where you came from and why your presence is so important here. Your presence here is to help to turn the tide, to bring the balance, to bring the light. Each of you is a light. Each of you is the light. Each and every one of you is here, yes, to create, yes, to co-create, yes, to see how you can change dynamics and energy and bring creation into fruition. But it is of utmost importance at this time that you understand, although you see yourself as this being of humanness, you are a light, a light of divinity, a light that is to do shining here. A light that is to make a balance and to tip the scale to the other direction. And how you shine your light, how you become your light is yes to create, yes to co-create, but to lose fear, to realize that fear is the illusion. It is a factor that has been put in place by many different organizations and systems to keep you dim, to keep you from shining, to keep the scale in the balance of their direction. By understanding what you are and who you are, just by allowing that, by letting go of fear, you will succeed. You will have that knowing. You need do nothing else. Just let go of the fear. And we understand that it's easier said than done, but we want you to take a moment and think back to when you were a very, very young child and to think to the babies that come in, they have no fear. They have not been taught fear. They've not been taught uh, no yet. They have not been taught conformity yet. When you were a child and you would run and you would play and you would be about 
and you would climb the tree or jump the fence or do the things, you did not have fear. That came later with what you consider to be circumstances and conditions. And the thought of, am I right? Am I wrong? Should I do this or should I do that? It is time for you to feel your light, to be your light, to live in that. And that is not a statement of what you would call holiness here. It is not a statement of being in your light means you have to be spiritual or religious or this or that. Being in your light means you are living without the fear. And the more fear you get uh, let go or get rid of or shed, the more your light just comes. And your days can look almost the same, but they will feel miraculous and different. And it is the feeling that you acquire with no fear that allows you to exponentially leap to whatever you want. As long as you listen to and partake in the drama and the fear-based media mongering, if this person wins, if that person wins, if I lose my job, if I this, if you that, if, 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 oh, you will be dim and we need you to remember that is not why you came here. That is not why your presence became a present here. You came to remember. You came to be. You came to remind. And you came to show. You came to lead by example and to be the brightest here, regardless of circumstances. You came to show up and to show everybody. And not to show off, but so that they also could shine. So they also could be bright. That is the only competition is to let the light shine and to let it shine the brightest. And in doing that, if just 10%, just 10% remember they are light, you are light, this dimension will be divine. And that is not, oh, that's the shift. Oh, that's the next dimension. No, that is changing this dimension. That is rebalancing this dimension. There is no jumping to another. You were put here. And if you can't do it here, you won't do it there. You have to remember who you are. You are light. One of the favorite things that we have repeated many times, if you were not afraid, who would you be? What would you do? How would you behave? What, what chance, what move would you make? Do it, do it. It's either going to turn out like you want or it's going to turn out better. As long as you keep strong in your conviction and you have the vision up here and the feeling in here, you will go, and there's no failing. Maybe the first attempt did not work, but that's not a failure. That was a trial run. 
that was a trial run. And so you try again, a little different, and then you try again, a little different. But you keep going and just remember you are the light. There's not a light inside of you. The light is you. Now, if I ask you all to just close your eyes and take in a slow, deep breath and to put your hand where the light is, yes, most of you will go here. But what you need to know is it's supposed to be above, below, beyond, around. That is the six foot circle that encompasses the physicalness you call you. Be that. And how you be that is to diminish fear. Fear is an illusion of something that has never happened, but you keep playing it in your mind. So we're going to now do a clearing. Of the illusion of fear, of all fear, all that caused this, all that's kept it. Part of the reason so many of you hold on to fear is because something happened once and you were in some way hurt or felt betrayed or had a, a feeling about it. And in holding on to the fear, holding on to what happened, you hold on to the fear and you hold on to the feeling, which brings your vibration, your frequency down. And you keep saying, I want to ascend. I want to be more. I want, I want to accomplish. You must let go of that feeling. So we're going to start to clear that. And we are going to take all of this from you. We are going to release it from you if you allow. You have free will. You can hold on to whatever you want. Say, I allow and watch it go. You no longer need this. You are a light that cannot be destroyed. It cannot be ruined. Others can try to control it with fear. And fear is the only thing that can control or dim your light. But once you are in your knowing, you will expand beyond your six feet. Do you understand you could go a hundred feet out in your energetic being once your light is fully ignited? And then watch the magic, the miracles that come to you. <sighs> Welcome to the show. <laughs> Welcome to the show. <laughs> You guys, you guys, oh, don't you love them? Don't you just freaking love them? And I need to tell you that feeling of bringing that message is just pure love. It's just so much love. It causes this. Okay. I'm going to be taking callers. Um, if you'd like to call, I'm here every Monday at uh, I'm here every Monday at noon, and every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Both of those times are central. I do pop up shows, and hey, you guys, this Wednesday or no, this Wednesday today, I'm doing a show at 7 p.m., taking your calls, answering your questions in YouTube chat. Um, Sunday, I am doing a guided healing thing um you can go to my website and sign up and my website is t-o-n-i-g dot i-n-f-o it's right on the uh, home page you have to go down a little bit but you can sign up there um and it is going to be uh, for at least an hour and we are going to do a guided healing it's it's the first one i'm i'm using this uh, webinar stuff, and I'm hoping it's going to turn out very good, but it's going to be good. It's going to be good. Um, if you'd like to call in, the call-in number is 
And if you are um, if you are in YouTube, you can post a question. Now you can go. You can be if you're calling in, or if you've posted your question in YouTube. Please, please um, let me know when I pick up. And you called in also. Please let me know. Okay. Um, okay. Okay, okay, I'm gonna start with a caller. Uh, when I say your area code, please let me know your name and your, where your first name and where you're calling from. And then your question, your question can be about love, life, career, finances, any aspect of your life at all, but please have it be a question. It's a little, it takes me a little longer when you say just give me anything. It's better if it's a direct question. If there's something really important, they are gonna get it to you. And then, or if you want to connect with a loved one, I just need their name, their first name and their relationship to you. Like Judy, my mom, <laughs> that's my mom. Hey mom. Um, or Bill, my uncle, that is one of my uncles, whatever it is for you, please just let me know. And if you have a question for them, ask that right away. People um, in YouTube have been asking questions and I'm so happy I've been um, getting, being able to help them and getting the confirmations. And here we go, 305. 305, what's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Eileen, I'm in Miami, Florida. Hey Eileen, hey Miami, uh, how are hi. you today? <laughs> I'm loving everything you spoke from spirit. I feel the same way, Tony. Yep, right? It's so amazing. Okay. Thank you it's so much. Yes. Magic. Yeah, the magic is flowing constantly. And I share, I tell people I'm living love, you know, because uh, God is living love. We are living love. Absolutely. That's so true. Thank it's you. It's level. You understand that, right? Yeah. Oh, we're my gosh. It, yes. But we're love. We're love that's in the living presence. Yes. but So uh, my question. Yeah, go ahead, love. Go ahead. So, so my question is, I've been um, a creator my whole life. I was I came in to bring beauty to the earth and I'm an entrepreneur and I'm very happy and at peace with myself, my career, my everything. Yet, I still have been alone from a partner, you know, somebody who's on my wavelength, who understands spirit, who understands gratitude and integrity, all of that good stuff. So I've been divorced since 215 that was a karmic relationship that we completed and I was wondering if you uh, see if I'm going to be by myself the rest of my life or if I'm going to actually meet the one to partner up with me to share what we know about life and about God and about spirit and earth and mother nature Okay, Eileen, how old are you? If I may ask, how, what's your age right now? Yeah, I'll be, on Friday, I'm, I'll be 73. Holy cow, congratulations. Congratulations, that's yeah. amazing. Thank you. Okay, here's what, you sound epically young, by the way. You sound yeah. very you. young in your voice, which is, you guys, Right there, I'll bet you she looks young too, and that is living love. That is that glow, that knowing, that creating. It is that. So, Eileen, what I'm going to say to you when you ask, "Am I supposed to be? Am I going to be alone for the rest?" No, you're not. Okay, so then I'm going to back it up, and I'm going to ask questions in my way uh, because there's a certain way that I just can ask questions where I get really good answers. Um, that are a little bit more direct. Okay, um, is Eileen's partner coming in? In 2026, there's a partner that is destined to come into you. I know this might seem like a bit of a ways off, but until then, you will be creating, and there is something, there is a project that you are to do. Once you accomplish this project, then then it's uh, like a, a road wide open for you. This project, I feel like it has to do with writings, writings and writings. And after you get that done, if a, pro if a person comes in prior to that, it may interfere with either you completing the project, you 
doing the project from your true essence or the information you are to put in this project. And so what we are saying to you is start the writing project now in your fullness of you. And then once that is complete and that is out there, then someone can come in and together you can do perhaps new projects, but this is what we have planned or you have planned when we say we it's us and you what we have planned for this time frame now if you choose to forego the project and you bring somebody in it might end up once again being somebody that is not in the right attunement for you so we need you to really bear down and do this project I think it's a book, Eileen. I'm just going to say, I think it's a book. What do you think? It is. <laughs> it is. Oh, it is. It's Boom. a children's book. It's called The Message of the Wild Unicorn that I wrote in 1988. And it's time to bring it back because the, the person who was <laughs> publishing it never returned 10 of the paintings. And I'm redoing the paintings because I'm a full-time professional artist, a painter, mm -hmm. an illustrator, and design clothing, and design wool rugs. I, I do multiple things, you know. I get the inspiration, and then it just happens. I mean, I make it happen. But it's this children's book, so I have to redo all the watercolors of the unicorn and all the animals and nature and show people how they are like the clouds and they are free flowing and they just follow your heart, follow the messages that are given to us each day and everything works out. So I have to do it in that kind of format. So, okay, okay. I get it. I get and what you're saying. I want to give you a part B to that, and then I'm going to like kind of move on because, well, you know, other people. Yeah, yeah. Um, but the part B to that is the watercolors you're doing and putting in the book, make sure that you have them available for print and even originals for sale. I feel like that will be the A and B of the, um, what do they call that? Like the, the money lines, whatever that is called. Like people will buy the print for their children's rooms and such. And also yeah. uh, there might be more than one book. So as you read that, you're going to realize as you reread and go through, you are going to realize there's so much more you can say or a second part of that. So please keep that in mind and get to work. Yes. Get to work. Okay, love? Yes. And I already self-published myself. So I have prints of all my artwork and I make she clay prints and art cards. And yeah, I've been doing this since 1972. I so I understand it. the printing and the publishing. I love that. Excellent. Thank you so much. Beautiful. Thank you. Hey, all um, right, so I'll I'll check you up again, and I'll contact you on your website, Tony. Thank you. Love God it. Bless, and may you continue to help the others. Thank you, thank you. You also, and have an amazing night. Thank you so much for calling in. I will. Thank you. Likewise. Check, check it out. Okay. okay. Tune in later. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Okay, you guys. I'm gonna go to the first question on the chat. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. Okay. Becky says, let me move, see if I move it over here, if it's easier to read. Ah, the light is still in my eyes, but that's okay. We're going to make it work. Um, I struggle with my health and docs have been trying to figure out for 10 plus years. I was hoping my grandma, Margaret, whom I've never met, can share if what I deal with is similar to her health issues. I instantly hear yes. Um, one of the things I'm, go I'm going to say to you, Becky, I, you know, I'm very limited in what I can say on this platform, um, especially when it comes to health and medical stuff. I have to be very, very careful. Um, one thing I would say to you along with just having that answer that I heard a yes is make sure you are getting all the nutrients that you can and I'm trying to use words that are not um, words that AI will because they have AI going through and 
if it hears certain words, you automatically get an X. Now it's craziness. Um, one of the nutrients, make sure you are getting as much nutrient as you can. And our earth that they're using to, uh, you know, grow things doesn't have as much nutrients as it used to. So please make sure you're finding the best nutrient based thing for you to help with that. That's one of the things I am hearing. Um, so I hope that's helpful. I hope that that it, uh, puts you down part of the right road. There's more that I, I can't, well, I can't say more, but thank you so much for your question. And I really do hope that that was helpful. If you are watching on YouTube, you can put a question in the chat and I will be happy. I'm going back and forth between callers and the chat to um, take questions. 631, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hello? Hi there. Oh, hi, can you hear me? I can, what's your name, love? Uh, my name is Rose and I'm calling from New York. Okay, Rose, how can I help you today? I was wondering if um, I could have a message from my mother. What's her name, love? Frances. Frances. I, I have an uncle named Frances. Um, of what area? Is, the, is there an, a specific area that you want your mom to, to give you a message in or just any area? Uh, I guess Korea. Okay. Um, Rose, what's, I'm, can I please ask your age, Rose? I'm 61. Okay. Thank you so, so much. Uh, one of the things that I'm getting, Rose, is I keep hearing 63, 63, 63, and almost this feeling of just make it to 63 and, you know, it's good. Um, if you're, if you're trying to figure out, is she, uh, if you're trying to figure out, are you trying to think about if you should switch or do something different with career? Um, I'm starting. Um, well, I have I do a couple of things, but I'm starting like a a senior business where you would age in place. Um, I'm starting that. I've been studying it and um, I got a certification in it recently. So I want to start my own business doing that. Okay. Or you help seniors that, you know, you know. Well, first and foremost, thank you. And I love that. Um, that is one of the most beautiful things. And that's the direction everybody's going. They're even, even doing, they're no longer, so many people I know are doing um, hospice at home rather than hospice at a hospice place. So that's that's just amazing. And make sure you look into that and you get, if you need certifications for that and nurses for that, get those certifications and get those contracts too. That's coming in very, very strong for you. Um, it's a very good option. It's a very good option. It's a beautiful thing. Make it very, Iron, I don't know why I'm hearing this, but but you should know, make it ironclad. So when you're working with people, um, whomever you bring on to help you in your business, make sure they sign ironclad agreements with you and make sure everything is, is fitting in the box and it's nice and tight. These are the words I'm hearing. This is gonna make sense to you especially as you go through things. I feel like you're gonna have two branches of this. One is, is, is what you mentioned, but there will be another branch that comes through. Now, whether that means being able to do um, like nursing at home or whatever it is, whatever that second branch is that's gonna come through, it's gonna come through very strong and it's gonna come through very quickly. So let's just say you're working with people you know, aging at home, and then all of a sudden, 
this comes in you're going to find that some of your clients also need this so that's going to be the second branch make sure you keep those two entities separate don't count them as one business keep them as two separate entities okay and make sure uh, what, what was the second one though i didn't hear you. um you're well, gonna know I do real estate too so um you're gonna um, know when it comes about you're gonna know when the second one comes through you're gonna know it's going to be, for example, if it's a home nursing business or something like that, or home hospice, whatever it is, you're going to know when the need arises. So please make sure that you're paying oh, okay. attention to, to that. So whatever it is, the next, the way, the other way I could say that is it would be the next step for your clients, okay? So if your clients are here, whatever oh, okay. their next step would be, it's going to be that, okay? So just make sure you're you're being open, but also make sure you keep those two businesses separate. Don't, um, don't try to put them under the same business. They should be two completely separate businesses. Okay, love? Oh, okay. All right. Excellent. All right. Thank you very much. You are so welcome. And I hope you have an amazing rest of the day. Thank you so much for calling in. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye for now. Okay. I'm going to go to um, the next question. I'm trying to, um, as people ask questions, I kind of lose... Um, lose where I was so I have to go back through um, and try not to miss any questions so if I do miss a question I really do apologize I'm not doing it on purpose um, uh, here we go hi Tony just wanted to know if you see anything changed with my dad's verse his neighbor lawsuit have you heard any oh you have not have not heard anything yet has anything changed i hear no i hear win i hear stay strong and you know what don't don't in your mind only see you getting a good verdict only see you getting the verdict that you want okay love i i hope that that is helpful for you Okay, if you have asked a question and I missed it, I apologize. I'm going to go to the next caller who is, I think, 850. Hey, I haven't talked to you Oh, what's your name, love? I haven't talked to you in a while. Michelle. From? From Florida. Hey, Michelle, how can I help you, love? Oh, uh, just want to see if you see any light um, or anything good coming our way. Me and my daughter both are going through a divorce, and then she just found out that she's got um, an enlarged liver. She's got to see a specialist on that, so that's got me worried. I'm hoping with her being young that it'll repair itself. I don't know, because we can't find insurance that will accept her to go see a specialist so i'm like oh my gosh and the problem is trying to help my girl i bounced in my account i'm like do you see any light through the tunnel <laughs> we both go through divorces and just oh i'm just like okay do you see any happiness coming our way okay so the first thing um, I've been, I, i'm helping good. her quite a bit okay excellent well thank you so much for your question and here's what i'm gonna say michelle um one of the things I do whenever a health issue such as this comes up, I personally would go to Barbara O'Neill's book um, and look at some of the remedies in there. I'm feeling this would probably be very, very good for you. I feel like it would be very helpful for many things. Um, I do feel like there need to be some it, it would be beneficial if there would be also be some dietary change changes with that. Okay, having said that, 
um, I hear the song, hold on, help is on the way. And so just get through the next couple of months and then everything will start to turn around. But one of the biggest things I'm hearing for you, Michelle, is it's really important for you just to cut energy or cut communication, cut whatever you need to cut with people who are not honorable and integrity, have integrity with you or integrous with you. If you are dealing with people who just are lower, have a lower, they're just, ugh. I don't even know how to describe it. It's just what's coming out. I'm sorry, Michelle. If you're dealing with those kind of people, they're going to put you in that energy. Um, I love the example, like, whomever you are around is what you will be. Whoever you're hanging out with is what you will be. If you're hanging out with people who are users, abusers, and users can be using people, using drugs, using... Uh, companies, just users and abusers and liars and cheaters, you're going to fall into that energy and you'll be either surrounded by them and eventually come one. But if you are surrounded by people who are starting their own businesses and growing and have faith and are just pushing forward and honest, you're going to become that person. So Michelle, please consider the people that you're around and start having, you know, and you might need to be a I'll, and sometimes, and I will say this to everybody, and don't let this frustrate you and don't fall back. Sometimes when you're going from one frequency energy level to the next, which we're always asking, you know, I want more. Can I do better? How can I help more? How can I help better? Um, sometimes we just have to sit alone for a minute. Sometimes all these people kind of fall off and we have to we have to be willing to let them go. It doesn't mean they're gone forever, okay? But we have to be able to let go. We have to recalibrate ourselves to our energy, to our level, and then we can start being around people that are in the direction we want to go that are in the flow that we want to be in. But it's very difficult for us and the people on the higher frequencies, if we're going from liars, cheaters, users, and low energy to higher energy, then we're the, then we're the one, you know, yet polluting. So we have to, we just have to sit by ourselves for a moment in a good, healthy timeout, figure out what we really want, where we want to go, what moves we want to make, what we want to start, what we want to do. And I don't care what age you are. Look at that last, not, not Michelle, but the caller before her, Rose from, I think her name was Rose, from New York, who is 73 and starting an aging at home business. What's your what's your excuse? Oh, I'm too old. She's 73. I think she said she was 73. What's your excuse? Why do you have an excuse? Why do you have an excuse? Just do something. Just do something. And that's just one of the things that 73. Don't don't sit around all day talking about the woes of the world and your life with people who have woes of the world and their life. Mm -mm, mm -mm. You know where that's going to get you? into more woes and worries. Get up, figure out where you, even if you don't know what you wanna do, figure out how much you want, 
and you will be shown what you can do to get that. I'm not even joking on that. Mm -mm, not even joking. Okay. All righty. Hey, Fawn. Uh, you're welcome, Becky, Stephanie. Uh, I hope you're... Mm, I think I did not answer this yet, so we're going to... We're gonna we're gonna go to this. Hi Tony, hope you're well. I'm a bit stuck in all parts of life. I know exactly what you need, Stephanie. I am here for you. And just don't know what's next. I thought I needed to leave job, but now think to stay. I'm also closed off with love. Okay, so what I'm gonna do for you, Stephanie, everybody listening, watching, um, re-listening, re-watching, uh, we're clear. I'm, I'm getting a no, so we're going to start to clear your energy. Oh, that is making me literally dizzy. Okay, we're unclear. We're going to start clearing that, uh, pulling all of that out. And then once this is clear, and Stephanie, please comment below, even if I don't get to your comments on air, I'll look at that. If you're feeling this, you know what? Anybody listening on YouTube, anybody watching on YouTube, if you're feeling this, comment and let me know. Oh, okay, clear, I'm clear, perfect. Um, we are stuck. And I'm just gonna ask that all blocks, all that stopping and or blocking you in any and all areas of our lives are healed, cleared, and released. We're gonna do that now, they're doing that now. Okay, Stephanie, um, the biggest thing I'm hearing, and again, the last message with Michelle is kind of also prevalent here. Get up, get out. And if you're you're in the, you know, this part of the world, it's summertime, do something new. Figure out something new and do it, but make sure it's outside, out of doors. Open the doors and get out of them, out of doors. Um, there are so many, there's such a small, it, depending on what part of the world you're in, there's such a small portion of summer, make sure you are taking advantage of it and you are using it and you are doing things. And there are so many things you can do that literally cost nothing in the summertime. It can be going and um, going to a park and swinging on a swing. I mean, seriously, if that, that in and of itself does so much for you, you will not believe what swinging on a swing, just getting on a swing and swinging on it will do for your energy. It's, try it. Come back and tell me I'm wrong. Come back and tell me. I hope that was helpful, Stephanie. Um, and you guys, the clearings I'm doing on the show, you can come back and listen to them again, and they will be just as helpful and just as effective the next time. Mateo, you are next, but I'm going to go to 203 first. 203, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, this is Michelle calling from Georgia. Hey, Michelle, how can I help you today? Hi. Um well, I'm really interested in just knowing what exactly is going to happen next. Um, so the thing in my mind currently is I have been trying to get a job. I'm, I guess I'm retired and I don't really want to be, but I'm still waiting to hear about something. But I have these two kittens that I've been raising in the meantime. And I'm having a hard, really hard time letting them go. But I don't know whether to keep them or not. And I, I feel like they're my children, you know? Okay. And I just don't know what to do. Uh, okay, so... Um... Michelle, we're just going to go with the kitten thing. I know you threw something else in there, but I'm just going to focus on the kittens thing because I feel like, Michelle, yeah. if you keep the kittens, it's okay. If you're very drawn to them and you feel like they are, you know, you, you are connected or bonded with them, keep them. It's not wrong and it's not bad. 
um, it, there, I don't see you. I, I honest issue. Yeah, I don't see you letting them go with a good feeling about it. I feel like you took them on. The, they're your mm. thing right now. Um, now, if you were working, would you feel differently? No, you would still want to be with the kittens. You would still want them. They're they're filling a place in your heart. They're they're giving you something to love in the way that you love those kittens. And I would say yeah. that that that's a beautiful thing, and that you as you know, I'm, I'm going to say this, Michelle, I'm going to, I'm going to mute you. And, and for only for the reason that I'm going to just start kind of blobbing on right now, you know, so many people, especially women, w women have a little bit of a different um, makeup than, than men. Men can be more matter of fact, or women are really lovey dovey. And I say all the time, you know, if you really just want something, most women say, I just want someone to love me, get a dog, get a cat. But what it really is, as much as yes, we do want someone to love us. Of course we do. That's human. We really want someone or something to love unconditionally that appreciates it. It's just, it's really that simple for us women. We want to love and give love unconditionally to something or someone that appreciates it. And again, get a pet, not a, not a partner. Don't, don't, don't bank on a partner to fulfill you the way a pet can. <laughs> Um, unconditional give and take in a relationship is a little bit more difficult than with a pet, but it's okay. I mean, I remember when I had Max and Bella, they were so amazing. And I just, I was so full of love for them and taking care of them and just, like, I know it's crazy, you guys, but I, they were hairless. They were hairless, Chinese crusted. So I had all these dresses for Bella and little like polo shirts for Max and fleeces <laughs> and um, winter coats and all that stuff. Um, so if you really, if it's, if it's, if it's in your heart, and I'm going to tell you when we can give love like that, it opens that part of our brain and allows us to really create and co-create with the universe and have that because our heart is so open. So I'm going to tell you, Michelle, if you have that and those kittens are providing it, that is why, they, maybe that is why they were brought into your life, okay? I am going to go to Mateo. Mateo says, hi, Tony. My life feels really up in the air at the minute. A lot of people's do, Mateo. Do not feel badly. And I, you guys, I have a bit of a runny nose, and I'm so sorry um, for my sniffling. And I've been feeling really demotivated. I was wondering if you could give me some guidance and maybe tell me if I am on the right path. Okay, Mateo, I'm going to ask you one or two questions. Um, I'm going to scroll all the way down so I can see your message come in. Mateo, what path are you on? What is your current path? When you say, am I on the right path? What is it? And Mateo, I'm going to say this um, while you're putting that in the chat. I'm going to say this. I feel like you should be teaching or instructing or guiding. And I don't necessarily mean in a school, like you're a teacher at a school, maybe, but I get more of a non, like an organization where you are <clears throat> where you are um, like working passively 
in some way with um and I this does this Mateo this does if I hope I'm saying your name correctly also um this doesn't necessarily have to be with you this doesn't necessarily have to be your full-time thing it could be your couple nights a week and weekend thing where you are working possibly with certain members of the community and younger members of the community helping to guide them and live constructively okay and i know i know that the whole um feeling um out of uh out of uh, unmotivated will get in the way but i'm also going to do a clearing right now um all that stopping or blocking motivation let's heal clear release that pull it let's pull it and then um we are motivated let's strengthen if we are motivated let's strengthen that and all in the way of our motivation pull it out now and then i want to do this for everybody also all that is stopping or blocking us from our knowing let's heal clear release that and this could be our knowing of what our next step is, which direction to go, whatever it is. And we often know that, but we're conflicted because this is what we're doing in our nine to five or five to nine. And this is what we want to be doing. Mateo, I'm going to tell you, um, I know you have not responded and that's okay. But if, if you do get on, please let me know how that nonprofit, if that makes sense to you at all um please do let me know <clears throat> i'm gonna go to 574 574 what's your name and where are you oh. calling from diana indiana hey diana from indiana we could make a rap about that because just because it rhymes but how can i help you love <laughs> how can i help um, you um my husband uh, his name was willie I want to know what happened. Why did it happen? Okay. Um, and, and Willie's on the other side, correct? Correct. Now I want to make sure I'm answering the right question for you or the question in the right way. Are you asking how he died or what he died of? Why he died like he did why did it happen like that okay thank you um now i'm gonna say what i hear and this might make more sense to you than it does to anybody okay. else listening but the first thing i hear is force f-o-r-c-e force the next thing i hear is uncontrollable and then the next thing i hear is is prize p-r-i-z-e prize now i don't think those words go together i think where he is right now is the prize where he is right now oh no he's correcting me i'm sorry sweetie he is correcting me he is saying you were the prize i'm gonna cry oh okay he's correcting me he's saying no 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 prize like you are the prize you were the prize um even if he didn't always know that act that whatever sometimes he's using the statement sometimes he could act a fool <laughs> i'm sorry i'm laughing at that but <laughs> i just think that's a cute way of saying something uh, but he knew all along um that that you were the best the the best for him even if you would uh like put that smack down or however i want to say that um you were the best for him you were always the best for him um even if mm -hmm. if you guys were in disagreement you always had the best in mind you were not and are not a self-oriented or selfish person you weren't selfish. You weren't only thinking of you. You were thinking of everything and everyone. 
And sometimes he lost sight of that. Sometimes he just wanted to be a little bit about him. Okay. Why did you, Willie, why did you, why did this happen? It had to, but, but why this way? He's just saying it was supposed to, this is the way it was, it was, um, the way it was like the way it was written so if you believe in the akashic records or destiny are the way we pass in our final passing is already written and this is it and also okay i keep staring at the wall in from in front of me and it says unexpected unexpected and i never really pay attention to that but they're really so this was really unexpected is what i'm getting and Here's what I'm going to tell you. He he's saying it was a shock to your system and that's why you can't come to terms with it, but he's saying it was it was meant to be this way and don't he's saying you know okay Willie, let me relax a little bit. He's saying he um and he's singing the song. There's so many messages coming in. And I know this sounds a little all over, but he's putting it and putting it and putting. He's singing the song, that song, um, all, by, all by myself. I don't want to be. So I think that that's for you, not for him, because he's showing me he is like surrounded by people. But for you, you feel so isolated and alone right now. And he's saying, Everybody here up here with him is also here with you. You're just not feeling it because you're a little bit, well, you have every right to be, you're, you're not angry. You're really pissed off. He's saying you're really pissed. You're up. You're very upset. So sweetie, what I'm going to do right now for you and everybody else who might be, I'm going to start to ask the angels to come in and pull all the grief and all the fear. Also, all of the sorrow from this and i'm going to ask that the shock of this and the, the shock be taken but the understanding be brought in and that i'm going to ask that you be filled with peace and love and um and he is standing he is standing to the side of you on the right he has his arm around you and his hand on he has his right arm around you and his hand on your chest and he is saying, just let me, let me, for once, let me carry the load. You don't have to carry everything. I know you feel like you have to take control and carry everything. Let me take this now. So if you just say, okay, he'll, you'll feel this go. And you'll feel him like lift this big load from you and it, it won't come back. And he says, it's the least I can do for all you did for me. So let's let, let him just tell him, okay, you can say it silently. You can say it out loud. And he's like, let me be this gift that I give to you. Okay. Thank you. And then he's going to, he, oh my gosh. Okay, he's going to do this. Now he's going to continue to do this even after this show ends. Um, this is what happens when I don't pay attention to the time. And he's taking all of this from you now. And I see all this like heavy energy going from you to him. And he's going to lift up right now. He's going up and he's taking this. He's not leaving, leaving. He's just taking this. He's going to drop it off and then he says, I'll be, I'll be right back. Don't you go no place. Don't you? And I, and of course you're not going any place, but he's saying, don't you go no place. So, okay. Love. That is what I have for you. Please know he and your family are with you. Okay. Beautiful. Is he okay? He is. He's at peace and he wants you to be at peace also. Okay. Thank you so much, sweetie. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, you guys, I love each and every one of you so much. Remember, I might do a pop-up show again this weekend. I have a group healing on Sunday. Go to my website for that group healing. The link is in the bio below or tonig.com. 
dot i n f o and um i will uh, but for sure monday at 11 a.m i will see everybody have an absolutely <clears throat> amazing rest of the night